MBC 感应器纠正 MBC sensor calibration. MBC line following sensor calibration instructions. After pressing the calibration button on the sensor, the system will start a five-second calibration process. During these five seconds, keep the sensor suspended about 0.8 to 1 centimeter above the surface and move it back and forth over the black and white areas. During the five-second calibration process, the indicator light on the sensor will remain unchanged. Meanwhile, the sensor will automatically record the maximum, brightest, and minimum, darkest grayscale values for each photodetector. If you want a specific color to be recognized as white during calibration, move the sensor over that target color and a black area. The sensor will automatically classify the target color as white. If you want a specific color to be recognized as black during calibration, move the sensor over that target color and a white area. The sensor will automatically classify the target color as black. After calibration is complete, you can check whether it was successful through the eight indicator lights on top of the sensor. The calibration data is automatically stored in the sensor, so recalibration is not required before each use. You only need to recalibrate when there is a change in ambient lighting or adjustments to usage conditions, such as changing the sensor's height or moving it to a different lighting environment. 初阶应用 beginner applications. Get line black error. The sensor measures the distance between the robot and the center of the black line. The value ranges from minus eight to plus eight. A negative value means the robot is on the left side of the black line, while a positive value means the robot is on the right side. Get line black width detects the width of the black line by calculating how many sensors are currently positioned over the black area. Get line white error the sensor measures the distance between the robot and the center of the line. The value ranges from minus eight to plus eight. A negative value indicates the robot is on the left side of the white line. While a positive value indicates it is on the right side, get line white width measures the width of the white line by calculating how many sensors are currently over the white area. You can see the value displayed in the bottom left corner of the screen. On the screen, when the MBC sensor is on the right side of the black line, the value will be positive. The further the sensor moves away from the black line, the larger the absolute value becomes, up to eight. Conversely, when the MBC sensor is on the left side of the black line. The value will be negative. The further the sensor moves away from the black line, the larger the absolute value becomes, up to minus eight. When the sensor completely leaves the black line, the system records the last sensor point that was in contact with the black line. Basic line following applications. We will use get line black error and get line black width to implement the line following functionality. By multiplying the error value from get line black error by p proportional coefficient, you can achieve a basic line following function. Adding d derivative term creates a PD control, which makes the line following response smoother and more stable, reducing oscillations or overshooting. Get line black width can be used to determine whether the robot has reached a junction and serve as a condition for executing a turn. Similarly, you can use Python to perform the above actions. Including implementing PD control with get line black error and using get line black width to detect junctions and execute turns. Intermediate applications. Get line sensor eight using Python. You can retrieve the values of all eight sensors individually through external tasks. Allowing these individual sensor readings to be used in blocks as well reads the reflection values of the eight photo detectors, with each sensor output ranging from zero to one hundred. The obtained values can be used for subsequent line following control, error calculation, or other applications that require precise light data, such as PID tuning, route prediction, and speed adjustment. On the screen, we can utilize the eight photo detector values obtained from Get Line Sensor Eight. The four values displayed below: get line black error, get line black width, get line white error, and get line white width function the same as explained earlier in the video. If unclear, you can go back to 111 to review. On the screen, we can retrieve the values of all sensors. After running the program, these values are displayed in real time at the bottom of the screen, allowing users to intuitively observe the changes in reflection readings for each sensor. Next, we will switch to using get line black error and get line black width.
These functions can provide the same features demonstrated earlier, while also displaying real-time changes in sensor values. Intermediate line following application. We can replace the previously used get line black width with get line sensor 8, inputting 1 or 8, and set the loop exit condition. This allows flexible monitoring of specific sections of the line, such as detecting only the left or right junctions, or controlling the stop position. Using get line sensor 8, you can obtain the individual values of all 8 sensors. The program can determine whether the robot has reached a junction or stop position based on the readings from different sensors, providing greater accuracy and a wider control range compared to using get line black width alone. Similarly, Python can be used to perform the above actions, including implementing PD control with get line black error and using get line sensor aid to detect junctions and execute turns. Of best applications. In advanced line following applications, the robot can simultaneously perform line following control, monitor sensors, and determine when to stop or turn through a multitasking mechanism, enabling more flexible and efficient operation. First, before using multitasking, make sure that the Python program has included the multitasking functionality. During testing, you also need to place a multitasking block in the blocks program. Even if it is not actually used, it is necessary. Otherwise, you may encounter situations like in the video where sensor values cannot be read. After adding the multitasking program, the system can now read sensor values properly, ensuring that during line following or other tasks, data from all sensors is updated and transmitted in real time. Next, we will test the multitasking operation, continuously read sensor values while the motors keep rotating. This allows us to verify whether the robot can perform sensing and motion tasks simultaneously in a multitasking environment ensuring that line following and other control logic operate stably in parallel. Next, we will conduct a test where the robot simultaneously reads sensor values while the motors continuously rotate. Through this multitasking test, we can observe whether the sensor data updates in real time and ensure that motor operation is not affected. This serves as a fundamental verification for advanced line following and multitask control. Of best line following application. Similarly, Python can be used to perform the above actions, including implementing PD control with get line black error and using get line black width to detect junctions and execute turns. In this example, we let the robot perform line following control while simultaneously sending the messages, hi, and good, in the background. This demonstrates the use of multitasking, allowing the robot to perform multiple tasks simultaneously. For example, Main task, execute line following logic to stay on the black line. Secondary task, continuously send messages or perform other auxiliary functions, such as monitoring, reporting, or flashing lights. In this way, we can clearly see how the multitasking mechanism allows the robot to perform other tasks simultaneously without affecting line following stability, enhancing overall responsiveness and intelligence. Similarly, Python can be used to perform the above actions, including implementing PD control with get line black error and using get line black width to detect junctions and execute turns. In this session, we experienced the full range of MBC sensor line following applications, from basic to advanced. Through multitasking, the robot can not only follow the line stably but also perform multiple tasks simultaneously. Next, you are invited to try more creative applications to make your robot smarter and more flexible. If you'd like to experience the full potential of the MBC sensor yourself, feel free to visit our official website rightfinger www.
Axion. Shop to place an order. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share the video, and save it to get more of our latest tutorials and demonstrations. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Hand waving.